inspired by Indiana Habitat. She encounters in her everyday life. One Indiana artist is now showcasing her vision of art and nature in the gallery annex at the Harrison Center. The exhibit called Lost Blocks is a compilation of handmade prints by professional paint maker, printmaker excuse me, and Carmel resident Lisa Van Meter. To highlight this beautiful art form is Lisa Van Meter herself. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Our pleasure. Okay, first, won't you just please could you expl explain the title, um, Lost Blocks? What are you referring to by that? Sure, absolutely. So I'm a color reduction printmaker. Okay. Um, so what I do is I make a layered colored print um, using one block of wood or linoleum. Mm -hmm. And to achieve a print like this here, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, um, the block is carved and inked many times over a series of weeks to produce the final print. And I know that's confusing, so I did bring right. an example that we might be able to do here yeah, in a few minutes. That'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, is, is that seems very uh, nerve-wracking to me. It like, is nerve-wracking. You only have so many chances to get it right. right. That is correct. So you do kind of um, have your colors chosen ahead of time. I know how many colors I'm going to use. Um, but as you were asking um, about the title of the show. Once the block has been all carved out, it's lost. Sure. You cannot make another color addition with it. So, so you got one shot at it. That is correct. That's, that's it. That is correct. Uh, walk us through how this works. Show, show yeah, us absolutely. a little bit of how to do this. It's very cool that we get to see this. Up. Well, I made a small addition just for you guys. Okay. Okay. I have the block here. Mm -hmm. And what I did was I took a few out of the addition to show you the process. This is, I carved, first of all, the design goes on the block. I carved whatever I wanted to stay white. So I have this little bird. I carved out the belly, and I printed this pink. Right. And then I wanted the pink to stay in the background. So I carved out everything I wanted to stay pink, and I inked gray. Mm -hmm. And all of them, I have an addition here of about 15. These all were printed gray. So at one point, they all had just gray on them. Carved out what I wanted to stay gray. Now we've got brown coming in. Um, this morning, I uh, printed this gray here and now you've got the final edition I've carved out what I want to stay this color and now we have a dark color to go on mm -hmm. usually it goes lightest to darkest so the pink to the very dark color okay. mm -hmm. so we're gonna go ahead and finish this edition quickly yeah awesome so I've got a brayer we've got I use um, oil based inks okay. okay so I've got a little bit of oil based ink here we're gonna put it right on our block and again this is the last color so there's a lot of the bird has been carved out. The background has been carved out. Oh, wow. How did you land on this medium? Right. I have always wanted to be a printmaker. Really? I, yes. I took some classes at the Indianapolis Art Center about 16 years ago. And uh, my mentor, Patrick Flaherty, taught me how. And I just, after a couple of years, started my, my career. That's amazing. Thank you. Is it possible to mess up while doing this? You know, they, yes. Um, my, <laughs> I was like, yep. My, my, uh, I was told when I first started to learn, if you get about 20 papers ready, you might have 15 in your edition. Yeah. You're going to oh, make okay. some mistakes. So, mm -hmm. But we'll see how this came out. So there is a little oh bit gosh. of a dark color oh. now on our little sparrow. Oh, my That's amazing. God. Thank you very much. So wow. again, once I finish the edition, it'll be a lost block, and, and, um, but I'll get these packaged and ready to sell at the Harrison Center. How long did it take you to learn how to do this? You know, I learned at the Indianapolis Art Center, they have great teachers. I learned the color reduction printmaking process in you know, just about a year or so. Oh, and classes wow. are just starting. Too. Hey, that's so, plug. That was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when it comes to something like this, mm -hmm. a lost block form, mm -hmm. Are there anywhere you're like, man, I, I really hate to see that one go. I wish I could just have that one over and over and over. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. What, do you find yourself replicating some of those, or no, are those out of your don't brain? And you actually, time no. Yeah. No. Once an edition is sold out, they're gone, and and I do keep one for myself. Yeah, of course. I have one of every. You gotta have a favorite. Do you have a favorite? Um, in Lost Blocks right now, in the show at the Harrison Center, it has to be Persimmons. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that it is, is my favorite. So Thank you very much. I, what I love too is it's such a unique art form. Mm -hmm. I mean, we get we get paintings, we get sculptures, mm -hmm. things like that. And we have a lot of those artists come in here, but this is so unique and so um, wow. th there's nothing that can replicate that, I, right? Yeah, and, and that must be so cool to see your artwork go to someone who says, "Yeah, I need that one piece that no one else can." Absolutely, have. yeah, I, I do love it. I love selling my work. I'm in Zionsville at a co-op gallery, mm -hmm. um, and then at the Harrison Center, and it was really fun at the opening of the show to explain the process. I think that right. was uh, the most rewarding thing uh, 
at the show. It was great. When can people come see your artwork and where? Um, you know, first Friday at the Harrison Center, all the studios are open sure. from 6 to 9 every first Friday. Great time to see my work and my studio mates work. Um, and I always have work at Art and Hand Gallery in Zionsville. Lisa, thank cool. you so thank much. You, thank so you. Thanks for talented. having me. So cool to see that right there. Thank Very you. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Lisa. Of course, if you have any questions or, again, Lost Blocks, viewable inside the Gallery Annex at Harrison Center. Now just visit Indiana Indiana.tv to learn more about Lisa and her work, all of this, even this one. Oh, never so beautiful. I would love to. We'll be right back with more All Indiana coming up.